up guys? Uh, my name is Justin, this is my first video. I'm a full-time Amazon, eBay, Mercari reseller. Um, I just left the gym, so I'm a little sweaty and all that, but good start to the day. Um, yesterday was my favorite day that I do. I went to a couple of thrift stores on the way to my favorite auction in Central Florida. Um, I picked up a bunch of stuff yesterday, so this video is just going to be about the haul that I got and everything I picked up, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys like stuff like this, um, I'll make more videos, so um, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I'm back at the warehouse. As you can see, I pretty much filled up yesterday, um, two thrift stores, and I spent several hours at the auction. And I picked up all kinds of goodies, so we'll get it unloaded and see what we got. Since this is my first video, I just kind of wanted to show you guys my workspace and my warehouse. I have like a 1,500 square foot warehouse I work out of every day. Um, so I'll give you guys a quick tour of that before I unload the truck so you know kind of like the space I'm working out of. So this is the warehouse. It's kind of a disaster right now. Um, there's a few items on the table right there I found at a really good estate sale the other day. Um, but I just have a bunch of shelves set up for inventory Got some cool stuff on the wall uh, You have to excuse the mess I'm not the most organized person But yeah It's definitely perfect for an eBay business and I got plenty of shelves set up and All the space I need and I got a bunch of boxes over there, various sizes for when I need them. And I have some tables out for sorting this big tool lot I was working on. Got a poker table for poker nights. That one's not for sale. But yeah, perfect little space. And then my office is fairly basic. I collect skateboards, so I got the collection up on the wall. Well, some of the collection. But yeah, other than the fact I need to clean real bad, perfect work environment. So as I mentioned, I went to two thrift stores before I went to the auction yesterday. Um, these are the items I picked up. Uh, I spent $142 total, but I'm going to keep the uh, slippers down there and the tennis balls are for my dog. So I spent $134 total on things to flip. Um, I got these combat boots. They're 1981, made by Goodyear. Pretty cool, unique. Um, we paid $15 for those. I think they'll sell for $45 or $50 plus shipping. Uh, I got the Sharp 5 disc CD player changer. Um, I paid $25. I plugged it in there and tested it as best I could. It seems to be a working condition. These sell for around $125 plus shipping. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, I got these three games. I usually don't pick these up because they won't sell for a lot, but this game is sealed and this game is also sealed and these two all sell together as a bundle because they're both connect games so i mean i only paid six bucks for those three games and i'll probably end up getting like maybe 40 50 dollars out of those three games so not a bad flip there um, i got the epson printer ink still in date i think this is only worth about 35 40 dollars but i got this for two dollars at a catholic church thrift store um, I found this nice set of flatware. It was only $13. Um, I looked up sold comps. Uh, for this particular set, I could probably get about $50 plus shipping. So not a bad flip there. And then I got some nice Jordans. Um, I paid up for these though. They were like behind the counter and they were asking $35 for these. But the brand new ones sell for around 110 to 120 So for these ones, after I clean them up, uh, I think I should get 75 to 80 plus shipping. So I still should make 25 to $35 profit. Um, I picked up these Nikes. I just got these because they were clean. They were $15, which was kind of expensive. But you could tell by the bottom, like they've probably only been worn once, if that. So, um... I'll probably get 40 to $45 free shipping out of those. So I should still make close to a $20 bill profit on those. Um, then I got this Sylvania record player. It was half off yesterday. So it was actually $10 and not $20. It has the manual with it. 
Um, I just kind of rolled the dice on this one. I couldn't find any sold comps, but I still think it's got to be worth at least $100 plus shipping, give or take a little bit. Um, I also got the Yamaha 5-disc CD player. I saw a lot of these. Plugged in the store, tested as best I could. As long as the door opens, the carousel works. Um, I'll test. So all in all, I have $134 invested in these items. And if everything sells for around what we talked about, I should get 580 net, 580 gross. So after fees, I'll clear about 530, which would still be $400 profit just on these few items. So thrifting went well. Uh, up next is the auction hall. Okay guys, so here's everything I picked up at the auction I went to. Um, I was there from noon, preview started, the auction started at one, and I left there around six o'clock. So all in all, I was there for six hours. But here's the things I picked up. Um, I got these old 19, late 60s, early 70s Redline Hot Wheels. I paid $35 for that box lot. Each one of those cars is worth $15, $20 on average so i'll probably make a few lots but i should get 150 bucks out of that lot 100 150 bucks uh, i got some cool knives here um this knife is worth about 50 bucks this knife's worth about 60. these two um, boy scout knives together probably 35 40 dollars this queen fixed blade knife that's probably a 50 dollar knife Got some nice gun holsters here. This one's worth about 60 bucks by itself. I haven't looked this one up yet. I got some really nice watch lots. Um, here's some vintage watches. This one right here sells by itself in the same condition as is with no band for around $125. And I got this whole bag for 30, 40 bucks, I think. So there's some other nice pieces in there. There's actually a few nice pieces in there and that's probably actually gonna be $250, $300 bag right there. Um, these are more common like Bulova, Seiko, those kind of names. So this a lot together, one large lot, and I'll probably get 80 to 100 bucks for that lot. Um, this is a Dr. Seuss book of 13 different stories, but it has some of the band titles in it. So that one's selling on Mercari right now for about a hundred dollar bill, 80 to 100 bucks. Um, I picked up this PlayStation 2 with a bunch of games. It says it's tested and works, so I'll have to test it out. But um, I got this lot for 65, but I'll make a bundle with the PS2 with some of the cheaper games. And then any game worth over $20 by itself, I'll sell that separately. Same with the PlayStation 3. This one has 25 games, I think, and I paid $85. And I could sell this console with just a few of these games for 150 bucks. And then I'll sell the, any good games in here, 20 or more, I'll sell separately by themselves. And I got a couple of nice hats. These, not something I would typically buy, but these were actually thrown in with another item, kind of like lotted up, so I ended up with them. I got a nice Franz Hoffman violin. It's in really good condition. Uh, that's probably a $80 to $120 violin. And I got a nice uh, Black & Decker Versa Pack set. I saw a set like this that sold for 100 plus shipping. So this is probably at least $80 plus shipping here. I got this Howard Miller clock for $5. And it's probably worth 50 to 60 because it's battery powered. Um, this is actually a set of six Royal Dalton lead crystal drinking glasses. I got this box for five or $10. And these glasses will probably sell as a set for $70. So that'll be a good one there. Um, I got a nice Kenwood receiver. Under there is a sharp five disc CD player with speakers, kind of like the one I picked up at the Goodwill. And we got some dive gear in here. I bought this because it has a nice uh, Scuba Pro regulator and the octopus. It also has a gauge. So that should be a nice sale there. I picked up an Esteban guitar. Looks like a nice one. I only paid 45 for it and sold comps for around 150 to 200. And I'll probably try to sell it locally, but I'll throw it up on eBay too. I've shipped a lot of guitars. They're not that difficult. Uh, this Sunbeam Mix Max, uh, Mix Master. I picked this up for $25, I believe. And believe it or not, sold comps on that. 
are 100 to 225 dollars and this is why we look everything up because at first glance i looked at that and i didn't think it'd be worth much more than 30 or 40 dollars but i was actually really surprised when i looked up the sold comp so that's why you look everything up leave no stone unturned and then i got this nice seiko clock this one i might keep i just think it's really cool but it's worth about 50 or 60 bucks if i decide to sell it um, these are a really good pickup. Mac tools, uh, pressure gauges, in perfect condition. And similar ones like this sold for $159 or so. I got both of these for $75. So this one's gonna sell for around $160 free shipping. And then there's also a Matco tool set under there. These are special kind of pliers, retaining ring plier kit. Um, there's only three hand tools in here, but similar sets have sold in 125 to 150 So this is a hundred dollar hundred twenty dollar bill all day long and I got the Polk audio Soundbar subwoofer and it came with these older Sony headphones, which I might throw them in with the soundbar But I'll probably just put those in my yard sale pile and this is an old saw in here and last but not least, another reason we look everything up. I saw this uh, stack of old World War II books. So I didn't think much of it. I actually walked by it a few times, but I came back and I was just bored and looking at it. Well, I thought this was an interesting book, so I looked it up. And if you look up sold comps on this, it'll blow your mind. There was a couple that sold for close to $150, but it, and it has some photos in it. so. That makes it really cool. The book and the photos together, I'll probably get $150. And it's from 1940. It's really cool. All kinds of stuff. World War II era. People love this kind of stuff. Really historic. But that was an awesome find. And this is another reason we look everything up because, you know, 99 times out of 100 you look up a book like this you're lucky to even find sold comps and if you do they're in the 10 to 20 to 30 dollar range but yeah 150 bucks for this book but that's it that's the haul for today so for the total auction haul uh, i spent 720 dollars all that stuff should resell for around 2500 plus giving me a profit of around 1400 dollars give or take so the total I spent for thrifting all day that day was $854 total and I should get about $3,000 in resale and that's a net around $2,500 after fees and everything. Uh, it should give me a net profit around $1,650. Not bad for a day's work. Um, if you like videos like this, just hit the like button, leave a comment below. Um, I'd be happy to make more videos if anybody find these helpful or entertaining. But um, this is my first video and thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.